Good morning, Elmridge members. Please give me three minutes of your valuable time to go through this video. I'm going to talk today about course etiquette, courtesies, and a couple of little Elmridge nuances that every member should know or should abide by. The Board of Directors has asked me to make this video in order so all the members will understand and all be on the same page. Thank you. As of a week ago, everybody who approaches the building, goes in the building or the pro shop, has to wear a mask. For those of you who don't have a mask or don't want to wear one through the clubhouse, your way to the first tee is this new break in the fence. This year is a tough year for garbage cans. We find garbage unfortunately all over the golf course and it's quite unacceptable. There's garbage cans just for your information at every first tee, every tenth tee and all the course washrooms. Please dispose of your garbage there. If, if you can keep it with you and dispose of it all at the bag shop after you're around, I'd be much happier. Elmridge is known to have the best range in the city. The mass area of natural grass is what makes it so popular. Uh, we're very, very spoiled to have such a great range. As you can tell, our range is very well used. This is the proper way to take divots at the range. All in a row, so that it'll heal as fast as possible. Okay, the grass that we seed here, the most desired grass, knits from the top and knits just under the surface of the soil. So the faster it can knit together, the more quicker it will uh, repair. The people that have practiced here have left random scars in a big bare patch area. This won't heal for a month, if not more. I mean, if everybody did this, even this vast range area, we wouldn't have it. Uh, you know, during the season. It just wouldn't exist. People have to be more conscious about how they use this practice tee. One of the things that is very, very evident at Elmridge is ball marks. Here we are at 10 o'clock in the morning on a quiet Wednesday. Maybe a handful of groups have gone through and I can find at least three or four fresh ball marks that somebody else has to fix or not. I'm gonna show you with this tool how to fix a ball mark. Those of you who think you know how to fix a ball mark, please keep watching because I'm not sure that anybody does know how to fix a ball mark. This little divot Okay, this little chunk of grass was found right near the hole. This should be replaced back at the start of the ball mark. Then you take your tool and you push the edges in. This, something like this, this repair will heal in two days. Tap it. Don't be so gentle. Tap it. This is what happens when a ball mark is poorly fixed. It can still be salvaged by somebody using their tool to aerate the area, but this was repaired by somebody who doesn't know how to fix a ball mark. This will take a month to heal. And at this time of day, there's probably 10 to 12 areas like this that are damaged on the green. Who wants to put over this? We have a lot more cart traffic at Elmridge this year due to everybody driving single carts and the heat has forced those who don't normally drive carts are riding carts. Hence, the traffic is huge. That means we just have to be all more careful. Now these black posts here beside every green are the area where all carts have to exit to the path. Where this cart is, we're on the ninth hole of north. Where this cart is, is illegal. Cart traffic is really, really uh, cumbersome. And I wanted everybody to know what these black posts are for. As you can tell, if you go beyond that black post, you're in violation. 
all carts come off the fairway at the black post. This cart is obviously in violation of the black post rule, but if you're a red flag player, this is where you park. After you're finished on the green, get in the cart and bring the cart around the black pole. Another note on cart paths. Keep the cart on the path where provided around greens and tees, not on mounds. This cart is in serious violation. I see so many people running their cart up to the tee blocks. It's really not necessary. It's 20 feet. I've hit my ball into a sand trap and due to the COVID rules, there's no rakes. I understand that, but it's just a courtesy to the people that are following you that you smooth out the sand for the next person or even for yourself for that matter. Anyway, you see where my ball is? It's in an unfixed rut, okay? What I have to do is take the ball out and play it, which is fine, totally against golf rules, but I can play it that way. But once I do play it, I should smooth it out. This person has got, doesn't have the courtesy to smooth out the sand. How hard is this, really? How hard is that? Okay, you could actually play now where that person played. When I have a good lie, it's common when people are hitting an iron that they'll take a divot out of the fairway. Get the mark I leave. Okay, I've taken a divot with that last shot and it's really not a big deal to fix it. Place the divot as good as you can and crush it into the ground. Literally takes two seconds. Okay, somebody uh, yesterday has taken two divots out, obviously one with the practice swing and one with the real shot. No divot to be found other than this dried up, crusty thing that may have a chance of living and may not. I'm gonna replace it just because that's what I do and that's not gonna heal for two months because nobody took the time to replace it. This is what happens when somebody doesn't replace their divot properly. It's not even worth doing. This is a crusted up piece of toast. This is absolutely worthless. And now look what we have, right? At the 100 yard marker in the middle of the fairway. It shouldn't be a surprise to anybody that Elmridge has a dress code. All private clubs do. The public courses do not. But this is not a public course. So I just ask everybody to put their hats on properly, tuck in your shirt. It's what sets us apart as members. Thank you. It's my job as general manager to make sure all players have the best experience possible. For that, we need everybody to be courteous and respectful and really help preserve the course. Help us help you provide the best experience possible. Have fun.